Hola chicos, vamos a empezar de nuevo con las, los, las expresiones idiomáticas. How you all doing? ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Ok, so, by the way, I've taken a, um, a request from one of, the, one of our students who are following us on YouTube and on YouTube in the description I have got, I have written these expressions that we're covering, ok, so you can read them as well. Just some people are saying that it's difficult for them to actually hear what, what it is I'm saying in Spanish, okay? So they're there in the description. Okay, so let's start. We finished with de retraso and now we're into de sobra. De sobra, okay? Now, sobrar means to be in ex, to be in surplus, okay? Sobrar, to be extra, okay? So when you use de sobra, they use it in these expressions to say, ¿Sabes? Y tú lo sabes de sobra. You know, um, de sobra is like, how could we put it? Um, only too well. You know only too well. Tú lo sabes de sobra. Okay? You know it only too well. And also you can use it, it, it means sort of, you, you know it, more than enough. You have more than enough knowledge about it, okay? So you can use it for when you're talking about times as well. You can say, ¿Sabes? Tenemos tiempo de sobra. We've got plenty spare time. Tenemos tiempo de sobra. No te preocupes, ¿vale? Tenemos tiempo de sobra. Don't worry, we've got tons of spare time. All right? So, de sobra. So that's a handy little one. Okay, next, de todas formas, de todas formas. Also, you may hear it being used de todas las maneras, okay, or de todas maneras. What does that mean? Anyway, it means kind of anyway. Um, for example, you could say, uh, me han invitado a, a la fiesta. Oh, no, mejor, no me han invitado a la fiesta, pero de todas formas no quería ir. Okay. Eh, no me han invitado a la fiesta. Qué malo, qué malo. Eh, pero de todas formas no quería ir. They haven't invited me to the party, but I didn't want to go anyway. Ok. So, de todas las maneras, de todas las formas. It means all of the ways, just like our anyway. Okay? Bien. So, de sobra, de todas las formas. And then we've got de una vez. De una vez. Now that means for once. Just for once. So you, you can say to somebody, pues hazlo. De una vez en tu vida. Do it for once in your life. Do it. Hazlo de una vez en tu maldita vida. <laughs> maldita vida. It once in, for once in your bloody life, do it. Okay? <laughs> de una vez. So that's quite a nice one, isn't it? Okay. Okay, this next one is just a word. Okay, and it's Dormilón, dormilón, dormilona, and that means sleepyhead, basically. So you can say to somebody, despiértate, que dormilón, despiértate, que dormilón, eres tú, okay? Wake up, what a sleepyhead, mm -hmm. so it's not to say, what a lazy kid, okay? Que dormilón. <laughs> there are lots of other ways. Of course, it's very light that, but it means somebody who likes to sleep a lot. Son, es, es una persona muy dormilona. Loves to sleep. It's a, it's a very sleepy heady person. Sleepy heady. Okay. Now, I'm not going to cover here the verb echar and echarse. The reason is, it's so enormous, 
that probably Cynthia and I are going to do this, I think, in, in our Word uh, blogs that we're doing. Okay, this is, these are more for expressions, but I'm going to give you one expression with which I'd say, okay? And there are zillions, and it's echarse una siesta, okay? So how you use it, it's a reflexive verb, and it means echarse una siesta is just to have a siesta. But it's kind of like to throw yourself down, throw yourself down and have a siesta. Mm -hmm. So you say, Estoy muy cansado, estoy muy cansado. Creo que me voy a echar una siesta. Me voy a e echar una siesta. I'm going to have myself a siesta. Okay? Or you could say, oh, ¿dónde está, dónde está Cintia? Ah, se está echando una siesta. Se está echando una siesta. She is having herself a siesta. Okay? It's present continuous, because right now. Okay, o voy a echarme una siesta. Did you notice I, I did it two ways? Me voy a echar una siesta, voy a echarme una siesta. There's no difference, okay? Same thing. Just I'm just checking the time, because I'm going to keep this to 10 minutes each one. Okay, so... Echarse una siesta, have a sleep. Little afternoon nap. And very nice they are too, I've got to say. I didn't used to have a siesta until I became involved in the Spanish world. And I've got to say, they're very, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Me gusta mucho echarme una siesta. Okay. This one is cool. All right. It's en absoluto. Okay, one of my students thought that that meant absolutely, like positive. ¿Quieres, ir, uh, ¿Quieres tomar un café con nosotros? En absoluto. She thought it meant absolutely I do. It absolutely means the opposite. En absoluto means no way, man. No way. En absoluto. Even though it sounds like it could be something very positive, it's not. It's the opposite way. So, um, so Jean, if you're watching, I hope you don't mind me saying that, but for 10 years, she thought it meant the other thing. Um, so somebody says to you, eh, a, ti te gusta, um, a ti te gusta el fútbol? Okay, and you say, en absoluto. That means absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Somebody says to you, um, ¿Te importa si, um, si yo llego un poco tarde? ¿Te importa si llego un poco tarde? Do you mind if I arrive a little bit late? En absoluto. Of course not. Absolutely not. I don't mind. Yeah. So that can be... It was interesting. I heard that the other day and I thought, oh, they're using en absoluto for, for something positive and it's kind of like, absolutely not. I don't mind that you come late. Okay, so you can use it that way, but it means absolutely not. Bien. Okay. Uh, and then let's finish with en punto. Appropriate, because we're going to finish 10 minutes. En punto. En punto means on the dot. The dot, full stop, is punto in Spanish. Okay, so when you want to talk about uh, time, it's normally with time, okay? And they'll say, bueno, yo, pers personalmente, yo voy a estar allí a las doce en punto. Okay, so for me, personally, I'm going to be there at 12 o'clock on the dot. Okay, so en punto just means on the dot, precisely. Okay, very British. We like to go there, we like to be there five minutes beforehand. But if you want to be on time, en punto. Also, if you're telling the time, ¿qué hora es? Uh, son, mm, o es la una en punto. It's one o'clock on the dot. Okay, exactly. One o'clock. Okay, so, there are our, our expressions. Bueno, espero que um, os gusten. Y nos vemos en el siguiente video. 
habrá muchos, ¿eh? Va a haber muchos. Porque tengo un montón de expresiones, pero bueno. Hasta luego.